Welcome everybody, Asheville Custom E-Bikes here. Another e-bike review. We've got in the Magnum Payload. Pretty awesome uh, electric bike setup for cargo style. You wanna do some deliveries or take your kids around out for ice cream, maybe to school. Uh, this bike's gonna be a lot of fun. First impressions, you got a huge battery. It's a 20 amp hour battery, actually 21 amp hours. So that's gonna get you 30 to 60 miles with your kids and your gear. Um, 500 watt hub motor and a really solid machine. Obviously it's got these style points, all the wood accent features here. We'll kind of run through some of the uh, different specs on the bike and show you a little bit more about it. Uh, 48 volt battery. We got a Shimano eight speed Pro Max alloy 48 tooth. We have a Welgo pedals and a Pro Max stem. So some high end premium components on here. One of my favorite parts is the Tektro brand hydraulic disc brakes. These are four piston brakes. That makes a huge deal. Uh, it's double the stopping power you're gonna see on the, some of the other bikes, which stop fine, but four piston brakes is gonna have four pistons that grab this circle rotor, and that's four spots to slow down that tire. So it makes a big difference. Um, it's got some style points here besides the wood. You got the brown seat and the faux leather grips. This thing feels really comfortable, really ergonomic. Also adjustable stem. If you want to lean forward, or you'd like to sit up more for your back, you can release this and move it up. So um, it's a feature a lot of people like. With your gears, you got a thumb and a trigger, and that's going to get thumb to a lower gear, trigger to a higher gear. Something unique we don't see on any other e-bikes is this particular throttle. This is just a little lever throttle button. Uh, it's right by the gear there, super ergonomic, super easy to put your thumb on, and it's very gentle. So it's a feature we really like about it. It's, um, it's just a really nice touch point that Magnum did on this bike. We've had no problems with these bikes uh, so far. They're just out of the box, work great, do what they're supposed to do. And you can see it comes standard with some fenders. Um, we did some upgrades and additions. Besides uh, the front rack that comes on standard, under these seats is wood. And what we did is added on this cargo basket. Uh, this is to put your kids in there. This particular person wanted to be able to change out these cushions. So we drilled some holes in the wood, customized this seat, We're putting two cushions here for the kids. They're gonna sit back here, ride along, and enjoy yourselves on all kinds of trips. Now, um, when the kids need some help, maybe gotta go to the potty, or whatever the case may be, they'll just ring that little bell and they'll get your attention. Sometimes it's hard to hear things when you're flying down the road and the wind's blowing in your face and the ear, so that little bell comes with this kit. It's a pretty neat little upgrade. Something else, uh, these bars are removable and once you, it's just a little quick release button. So you remove that bar and then this seat will go right in the middle here and it'll sit right on this. There's, you have to remove these seats with the bolts and then install the Thule, Thule Maxi Yep plate. Uh, the holes we've already drilled, so you just screw those on and then you can attach this regular bike seat back there. As the kids get a little older, you want to ditch this, just put on the pads and put them right here. Shifter, you got a Shimano Acera. It's a pretty nice setup. It's not entry level, it's a little step above. It's got your double kickstand right here. And that is quite the touch point. Having a double kickstand allows you to really get stability when you put your bike up. You want to set it down. Now it says not to load your kids with this kickstand on, but you know, you can put your foot right here on the pad, pick up the kid, set him down, set another one down, let it go. Put your foot in front of it and just roll the bike forward. Bam. You hop on, fire it up, and you're off. So these are fun bikes, really a lot of function, a lot of utility. Uh, I think the price right now is about $2,800 over at Magnum. We sell them here at Asheville Custom E-Bikes. You can get them online through our website. We have them shipped. We build them here. It's a lot of work to assemble these. Uh, of course, always recommend installing the flat out liquid Kevlar tire treatment. Makes a big difference. You never want to get a flat tire out on the road or the trail. You got to first press a short press on the battery. That fires up that 21 amp hour battery, huge. 
hold on this power button. You got a beautiful display here. It gives you, runs through all the numbers and the power checks, make sure everything's great. It gives you all the information you need from your pedal assist level, your trip time, your BMS battery level. And that's huge. Most bikes do not tell you the information from the BMS. That's the battery management system that is located inside the actual lithium ion battery. Uh, from there, you just have a plus button and a minus button. You press your plus button, your pedal assist levels, you have zero through five. Zero is just gonna be a bicycle. One, you're gonna pedal and the motor's gonna kick in. You'll feel super human. You have a little bit of power, nice, easy, manageable. Power comes on very smooth. When you want a little uh, boost, you keep going all the way up to five. That's gonna get you to either 20 or 28 miles an hour. Uh, this bike, for our testing purposes, uh, maxed out at about 22 to 24. So again, a solid bike. Nice design. You can pick up your bike from the middle here if you need to. It's got the oversized wide Welgo metal pedals. Got your reflectors on there. It's a fantastic setup. If you like cargo bikes, you can get some a little bit cheaper, but if you want something with a huge battery and this type of style points. One last thing to mention here, bike comes standard with a suspension seat post. This is gonna give you about an inch or so of travel when you're riding the bike and those bumps come and hit you, boom, boom, boom. That's gonna add some nice comfort. The seat, in my particular opinion, isn't the most comfortable out of the box. I'd probably try to find another seat with this color. This is the Royal Gel. For me, it just wasn't a great fit. I didn't love it, but you can get a different seat that'll still attach to your seat post. You'll still have your seat post suspension. Definitely come by Astro Custom E-Bikes, test ride one of these suckers. You're gonna have a good time out there. And if uh, this isn't the particular cargo bike for you, which most likely it will be, we'll show you some more. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.